Hi, I'm Lisa and we are going to find out how to make a needle felted wool form to fit inside this teddy bear's head. I have stitched up the back seam of the teddy bear and I'm going to make a, an, a head insert for him using wool fleece and my felting needle. So we'll put this down and refer to it for size. So here's the wool fleece that I've got. It's actually a piece of a bigger um, bit of wool batting, wool that's been washed and brushed. And I'm going to start out by making a knot in this length of wool. Now I've chosen this wool because it's got a lot of crimp and body to it. I didn't Intentionally, I did not choose merino, which is a little bit too smooth for this purpose. This is really a nice quality of wool. It's fuzzy, it's crimpy, it's, it's spongy and squishy, so that's good. So I've just made a regular overhand knot in this, and I'm going to pull it fairly tight. And then I am going to wrap the knot, and in doing so, I'm going to make a ball. So I'm starting out by splitting the end of that um, bit that was at the end of the knot and I'm just going to wrap it around the ball. And then I'm going to wrap the other bit in a different direction. So you just want to keep wrapping. Uh, I'm going to pull this off actually and split this to make some more wraps and I want to wrap fairly tight and keep changing direction similar to the way you would wind a yarn ball you have to keep changing direction in order for it to ultimately be round so that's what I've got so far not nearly big enough so now I'll take some more wool. Don't want to take too much at once because I don't want there to be clumps and lumps. So I'm keeping it rather thin and pulling it a little bit as I wrap, constantly changing direction. And I'm making sure not to twist the wool because twisting it will make lumps in it. So I'm keeping the, the strip of wool flat as I go along. Here's another bit. Just lay it on and then pull. You see how I'm not twisting it, I'm letting go as it goes around. Not holding on to it, but letting it lie flat on the surface of the ball. So now it's getting a little bit bigger and we just have to keep going. Stretching it out a little bit so that it doesn't get too thick. Don't want it to be lumpy. Round and around. Now I've got to take another strip from my big, my big strip. Okay. I bought this wool at our farmer's market from somebody local who raises sheep. And I don't know what breed it is. I'm sorry I can't provide that information. But if you go to a yarn shop, a, a lot of times they're selling wool roving or wool fleece now. You can probably get some there. Or you can certainly find wool fleece on eBay um, or probably Etsy, a lot of different online sources. Um, our local yarn shop 
is called Stony Mountain Fiber, and you can look them up online. Um, the proprietress does a lot of um, has a lot of things listed on her website, and you can order from her online. She's got lots of different varieties of wool. If you can't find this kind of fleece locally. So it's getting a little bit bigger now, not quite as big as we want it, but we're getting close. Now this wool, you may notice, has some sort of, uh, I'm not sure what it is, some kind of a green fiber that has been carded into it, which is totally incidental to my purpose. Um, I would have preferred just plain white, but this shouldn't um, be a problem because it's going to be inside. Can you see the, the little green strings or fibers? Anyway, they are there. So now it looks like we're getting close to the size. I'm going to see how that works in the teddy bear. Still not quite big enough. I want it to be a little bit bigger. round and round. I'm not too concerned about um, the fact that it's it's got some unevenness or some bits that look a little bit loose because once I've got it roughly the right size I'm going to take my felting needle and um, even it out and make it a little bit more dense, a little bit more solid. But you can see that the fact that I'm wrapping it tight makes it pretty solid. So I'm squishing it. It's pretty solid. Okay, let's see about the size now. It's getting there. Maybe a little bit bigger. Really want to fill that out nicely. Slippery little guy. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. That looks like about the right size now. looks pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll just give it one more little layer. Since when I do the needle felting, it is going to condense it a little bit. Okay, so there's my ball. This is how big it is compared to my head, so it'll give you a little perspective idea. Now I've got my felting needle and my sponge. And I don't really need the sponge here, I'm just going to be very careful. And with the felting needle, I'm just going to go all around the ball and tuck in all the little loose bits. And if there are areas that protrude a little bit, I can tuck those in as well. So this is shaping it a little bit and also condensing the ball, making it firmer. Okay, so that's what it looks like after it's been needle felted. 
still about the same size, nice and dense. And let's see how it fits now. So that looks good. Okay, so this is a teddy bear, and the teddy bear needs a little muzzle, needs a snout. So I'm going to put a snout on here, again using some of the wool. And I think what I'm going to do is start out by just taking some fibers. I think I'm going to take this green string out for this part. I'm going to lick my hand to give it a little traction and then just roll the fiber, the wool fiber between my hands. So you can see making a little bit of a very loose ball here. So now I've got this bit of fluff and I'm going to take that and needle felt it onto my ball for the beginnings of a snout or a muzzle. You can see I'm going to attach that. Just sort of poking the needle around the edges of the muzzle. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger, so I'm just going to put a little bit more wool on it. Kind of wrap it around loosely. and then just work with the needle. It's amazing the sculptural capabilities you have with felting needles. So you can see this guy's getting a, a muzzle, he's getting a nose. Let's put that inside and see what we see. Okay, there he is in profile, in front, in the other profile. Now I could add more. Also need to sort of lift him up a little bit, lift up his snout. I might add a little bit more for a little bit more definition. But that gives you the general idea of how to use wool and needle felting to shape a head and a snout for the teddy bear.